Today you were supposed to read from this book, and you were supposed to read the excerpt from Alchem X about his experience in jail and how important it was for him to receive an education. And during that time, he realized he truly wasn't going to be heard unless he sounded educated. And through these experiences, or the experience of writing letters to his friends, and then later important people, um, he wanted to share that with the African Americans to make them understand how important it was to be educated. And you didn't necessarily have to be educated. You could be self-taught like he did during the time that he was in prison. And through this portion of his, this writing, he used the first person pronoun, I, instead of relating it through third person and using the objective point, he felt that by including his own experiences, it would relate better to his audience and that they would understand his urgency and importance in this message that he was giving to them. So that was one of the things that I want you to focus on is what point of view is this being told? First person or third person? We never use second person and we'll go into that for another lesson. The other thing that I want you to look at is why was it important for this for Malcolm? What is the purpose for this segment? Well here in this excerpt Malcolm X is blaming the white man um, for their undereducation because they or not they, but Malcolm, feels that because they are not educated to the white man's level, that they can continue to suppress them and not allow them to have power. So that was the urgent message he was trying to get across to his particular audience, that in order to be educated, we need to go to school or educate ourselves if it's too late to go back to school so that we can obtain the power that the thing white that Malcolm X did do to become educated and to improve that diction was to learn new vocabulary. He realized through his letter writing experience that in order to be thought of as a serious individual, you had to write like a serious person, sound like an intelligent person, and speak like you knew what you were talking about. But you had to have that vocabulary, and that was one of the ways he was expressing to his audience, you need to speak like an educated man. That will give you the power or help you to achieve more power, more credibility by sounding like you know what you're telling his audience that education gives you that credibility, gives you that respect, gives you that power, puts you on a level playing field with everyone else out there and that you can no longer be suppressed, looked down upon, thought ignorant because of how you spoke. Thing We're you going are. to hear me talk about throughout the semester is diction. Diction is the word choice in which the writer or the speaker uses to present their message. Formal diction is used more specifically for writing and speaking in formal situations such as college papers, speeches, anything that is going to be addressed to a large audience, you need to use that formal diction. The informal diction is when you use, when you're among your friends and your peers, and you can use the slang words. Slang, colloquialisms. Colloquialism is another word for slang, like, hey, bro, what's going on? That's informal diction. Hello, sir, how are you today? That's formal diction. The more formal diction that you use, the clearer your word choice, the more credibility that will give you in your writing and your speaking. So that's why it's highly important that you use highly effective vocabulary. And throughout this course, that's one of the things we will focus upon. Malcolm X's piece. He uses formal diction because he wants to have that credibility. He wants to be heard. He wants to be thought of as a serious speaker and writer, not only amongst his peers, but amongst 
the educated and the powerful. He wants to be taken seriously and his voice and his message heard. And by using the formal diction, the audiences will tune into that more so than the slang. When one uses informal diction, the slang, using colloquialisms, you sound less intelligent. You sound, you may be the smartest person in the world, but by using the slang and the informal tone, people are going to look down upon you. Sadly enough, that's how society works, but people are going to look down upon you and think that you are not educated and that you lived under a rock, you're a hill jack, and you don't want that impression to be put to your audience. You want to use the proper formal diction so that you are taken seriously and that you have credibility and that your opinions matter and are well worth being heard. Hopefully you already viewed the little PowerPoint presentation that I made about rhetorical analysis and annotation and how to go about doing that. What I want you to do for the remainder of the class period, use those guidelines, those keys. I'm going to, there should be a handout. Make sure you have that handout. Get into your groups and pairs and go through that reading selection again together as a group and answer those questions and see what layers that you can find um, amongst yourselves through discussion and see what the message is, the importance. Are, is there repetition? Is he saying certain words? Think of Martin Luther King in his speech, I have a dream. The, the title itself is repeated all the way throughout, I have a dream, to emphasize how important that dream is. Is there something being emphasized in Malcolm X's portion that you read? What's his message? What's his purpose? What are the techniques he's using to help get that to out to his audience? That's the assignment for today. Have fun.